hello guys um just wanted to jump in here um i'm not going to go on about the fact that this was an unexpected grave that i wasn't expecting to document because i already say that in the main video i'm just jumping in here to say that um first things first i hope i did do this video with sensitivity and dignity but more importantly i just want to um send my love and my respects to the entire family of Jamie Bolger because I can't even imagine what this must be like for you guys even if it is 30 years since it happened I just want to send my love and my respects to all of you guys particularly around this time of his 30th anniversary so thank you from me Sharona Thank you very much, guys. Hello guys, yeah, bit of an unexpected um, video this, um, I'll make sure I've put them in the right order, but no, essentially after um, I didn't get into Brian Epstein's grave, I, I noticed it on the way down here that Kirkdale Cemetery was literally up the road from Everton Cemetery, so as you saw, I went back up the road and I got off, I did show you a little bit, um, as you've seen, probably I've written it in the description, just carry on walking up that road from where I left you. Um, there was a lot of people um, around and more importantly, there was a lot of traffic lights to navigate. And when it's like that, I'd much rather just walk rather than having to worry about navigating around people with a camera, if you know what I mean. So just carry on walking up that road for about 10 minutes and you'll come to Kirkdale here. Yeah, and the reason why I came here is I thought, is there any chance that I can actually find this? As you can see from the title, little Jamie Bolger, who we all know his story, so I don't think I need to go into that story, and I don't particularly want to, is buried in this cemetery. Now, I thought, first things first, I didn't know the plot number or the section he was in, but I did know roughly because of some trees and that that were in here. I thought, I'll take a pop luck. And I knew he was down the side of a pathway, but f for sensitive reasons, I don't, I didn't walk you in here. Plus, I was trying to sort of find it myself even more, if you know what I mean. But all I will say is, um, he's not too far away from the entrance. So, as long as you don't literally 
um, veer right to the back. As long as you stay on like one of the main pathways when you come in and just come up about halfway up, I would say. He's not, like I said, he's not that far away from the entrance. But what do you know? I found him. There we go, guys. In loving memory of our beloved son, James Patrick Bulger, born the 16th of March, 1990, died the 12th of February, 1993. I'll insert a photograph, guys, because that'll take me a while to read. Beautiful headstone, as you can see. Yeah, that was the other thing that was on my luck. I knew that his headstone was quite big and it had like these angels on it. Because there are other people that have documented this on YouTube. So, hmm. He needs a bit of a tidy up, doesn't he? But, yeah. Yeah, these were the trees. This, the, that big conifer. And that. And that, so, yeah. There you go, guys. One last look. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a bit bright. There we go. That. Ugh. For once, the sun is working against us. Rest in peace, Jamie. And you'll always be in our hearts. Farewell. <laughs>